Hello, today I would like to show you my recent purchase from the AliExpress. As you can see over here I programming my 25 watt radio. It's called a uh, Note and it's made by a company called Lexen. And this is the thing that I would like to show you. This is a USB to TTL serial programming cable and it has a very nice feature because you've got a lot of different common plugs. So this is a one fit all, maybe not all because there are uh, specific cables, but that pack of, I believe there is a eight plugs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight plug. It's going to cover most of your need. Here is a USB to serial chip. And inside, I believe there is going to be nothing, but let's open this. Let's just take a look what's inside. I believe there should be only a junction and all the logic will be there. But let's take a look why why not? And by the way, you could see how nicely you can open this box even if a screw is hard tied because you can use this as a manual screwdriver just to let it slip. And this is how it looks like. It's a little bit of a sloppy job, but yeah, everything looks nice just a straight wire connected together protected by a glue for the price i would say this is okay i won't be able to manufacture this cable cheaper by myself so i would say it get a pass question is in the quality check because I do not have all of these radios to to try it but let's assume it will be fine okay I'm just going to lock it and I'm going to show you the list of the radio that it should be able to talk to and I will show you each of the cables. So first of all, this is the list. I've got it from a seller description. So I don't know if that is correct. If it won't be then sorry. And this is how it looks like. We've got a CD with a drivers. I have no need to install it. It just plug in and work on a Windows 10. And let's take a look. So we've got uh, two groups of cable and the K, I would assume they are Kenwood and Hytera. And here we've got the ISO ICOM and Motorola. That's how it looks like. And let's take a look here. So we've got the RJ45 plug, two of them. They are used mostly on uh, mobile radios. So they've got uh, two different style of wiring. Here we've got two and a 
five millimeter jack, the TRS. Here we've got a 3.5 millimeter jack. We've got TRS and TRRS. And that's conclude one of this section. Here is another one, RJ45. We've got two and a half millimeter TRS jack. That type of plugs I saw on some of the Motorola radios. Here we've got a radio that is a Kenwood style. And this radio is going to fit to most of the Baofeng radios. So most of China radio is going to use this type of plug. And the last is that one. And this is from my look that is a Motorola. And I believe it's also used on some of the Hytera radios or maybe a TYT, the, the more professional I saw with this. So this is a much smaller spacing. And this is how it looks like. My previous cable looks like this. And it has uh, one big problem because this part are disconnecting and I was always have trouble finding. So the idea is very cool. You need to program a Baofeng radio then you just plug it. But if you've got like a five or more cables like this, you're or you're always going to get a trouble finding them when you need them. And here everything is uh, nicely connected together. You just grab one piece of equipment and it's going to stay. So from my point of view, a uh, very good purchase. As I said, I cannot try all of these connectors because I do not have all of these radios. I just checked the mouthing, but everything is working fine. And here is just a splitter. So I'm pretty sure everything is good. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time and bye bye.